The advancement of technology in the 21st century has seen the evolution of consuming media through newspapers and nightly broadcasts to films, advertisements and social media applications at the click of a button. The media influences a large portion of our lives, what we wear, eat, buy and locations we visit. Henceforth, a large amount of attitudes and stereotypes we adopt are influenced by the media, both consciously and subconsciously. This can be valuable on some accounts, however can also create damaging stereotypes with regards to minority groups such as those of a different race. It is a commonly held belief that racism is an issue of the past, with the Racial Discrimination Act of 1975 and its adjusted 2015 version. In conjunction with education and awareness of access to equal treatment and opportunities for all citizens irrespective of their diverse background. Regrettably racism is omnipresent within society through racial jokes both publicly and behind closed doors, social encounters and within the media. While forms and encounters with racism are ever changing in the advanced world, the populations of these victims and taunts remain relatively the same. The film Remember the Titans highlights the impact of racism on the livelihood of a minority and majority group. The film integrates sport with the everyday American to raise issues of racial discrimination and stereotypes beyond the town's border. Remember the Titans follows a biracial town as they abolish socially developed schemas of biracial prejudice, acknowledging that privileged members of society are not impacted by the harsh reality of racism, while for others it is a constant battle. The film highlights those on both the giving and receiving end of racist actions, showing the impacts for all involved and demonstrating how friendships can develop once people recognise the human within everybody. While the film is set in 1971, the main element of racism is still interconnected to today's society through the daily lives of Australian Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders, Middle Eastern and refugees on Manus and Nauru Island, where 18% of Australians state they have experienced acts of racial discrimination within a 12-month period, while non-Anglo-Australians are still faced with racial prejudice within the employment industry, South Padamese 2015. Hence, while the film highlights racial discrimination within a different time period, it demonstrates how we've evolved with change views and attitudes, but how racism is still present today. The inclusion of the songs Ain't No Mountain High Enough and Peace Train represent the iconic turning moment when the team and community fully become one in acceptance. The body language, movement and words in these scenes accompanying the music are a pivotal moment for change of both the personal views of each character and the views of the entire town. While watching and listening to these scenes, the audience is given the chance to reflect on the lyrics and what is before their eyes. Downing and Husband 2005 state that this has the potential to influence society to abolish misinterpretations and pre-constructed social groupings through honesty, compassion and ethical work. The language at the beginning of the film has players saying they won't work with black animals, whereas at the ending of the film we hear Gary Bertier confess that I'm not sure what I was afraid of, but I now know that I was only hating my brother. However, extreme hate, suffering and oppression is overcome to arrive at this acceptance, majority of this anguish towards the African American characters. Another noticeable emotional pain is represented by the minority and majority groups when Julius displays a poster of the Black Power stance from the 1968 Olympics. Low stood on my body 2017 described the media as a weapon. This film is used as such a vehicle, but a respectable and powerful weapon that demonstrates a power imbalance between two races. The image is a form of protest against poverty and lynching where the athletes reflected the shame they felt that their country was travelling at a snail's pace towards something that should be obvious to all people of goodwill. Cyrenian Carlos, 2011. This has a strong impact on society's views. One only has to complete a quick Google search to understand the importance of this life-changing event and recognise why it elicited such a reaction given the context of the film. However, it can also be related to the protests within Australia with the lead up to Australia Day, where Indigenous Australians can test recognition of their past and present struggles while challenging equal treatment and access to fundamental rights for all Australians. This also relates to the ongoing refugee crisis of protests against displaced refugees of hunger, lip sewing and graphic self-harm, Hamilton 2016, in demand of a safe place to live. Within the film, implicit cognition is established through stereotypical prejudices that have been inherited through society and learnt from those around them. 
seen through protesting, physical fights and throwing objects at the opposite race. However, football is used as a priming stimulus that elicits a response somewhat unbeknown to the players and community, prompting a friendship, acceptance and unity within the team. Olsen and Kendrick, 2012. A takeaway message from this media is to look further than unconscious or conscious prejudice and discrimination based off stereotypes to recognise the character and personality of each person. That as an individual, town and nation, we need to advance past racial limitations within society to educate ourselves and those around us to create connections with a range of people, no matter their race, ability, intelligence or gender.